Somebody once said that when Lem Barney got his hands on the ball, it was like the national anthem. People stood up, and they did to watch him. He was just, just an electric player, and you don't see that so often on, on defense, you know, like, especially defensive backs. But the way he played, and the multiple, multiple things he did, you know, gave him a chance to display that. Lem Barney was uh, part of quite a draft class for the Detroit Lions in 1967. These were the guys when the Detroit Lions got good and made the playoffs in 1970. These guys were really part of the backbone of that team. None more so than Lem Barney, of course. Night Train Lane came down to Jackson State my junior and senior year and told me, he said, look, boy, the way you playing ball, I'm going to try to get the Lions to draft you. And then come draft day, the Lions drafted Lem Barney, number two out of Jackson State. And I said, wow, I'm going to Motown. I mean, all the music, the fashion, the cars, and the whole shot. So it, it was a joy. From the day he was drafted, a ballyhooed player he really was. And first of all, he made the Pro Bowl seven times out of 11 years as a quarterback of the National Football League. He had 56 career interceptions, but the first one was probably the most dramatic. First play as a Detroit Lion, Bart Starr thought he was going to test the young rookie over there. First pass to Lombardi, intercepts it. And I dove in the front of him, got up and ran the end zone for 27 yards for a touchdown. And I looked up to the skies, I slammed the ball down, I said, Lord, this is going to be easy. Lem, honestly, God, he had such a, a natural way of conducting himself and playing that uh, I mean, you could tell right off the bat he, he's a player, the way he can move and the way he controlled himself and the way he anticipated against the ball and so forth. He the best that's ever played as far as I'm concerned. But he wasn't just a cornerback either. And, and yes, he was a punt returner. Yes, he was a kickoff returner. But he also punted. He was the full-time punter of the Detroit Lions as a rookie and then one other time in his career. You know, one of my close friends is a former Detroit uh, News columnist. We both worked for the Detroit News, Jerry Green. He once dubbed uh, Lem Barney. The supernatural. He liked that. The Bengals punted and the ball was rolling around on the 20-yard line. Suddenly, Barney reaches in and grabs it and runs for a touchdown. He was just spectacular. Who is this guy? Single bar. Who is this guy, man? <laughs> wow, come on now. I thought you were looking for the sideline. <laughs> no, you can't get no yards going out of bounds. <laughs> did I pick it off? Yes, I did. Nelson to throw. Set has time. Delivers deep, and it is intercepted by Marty in the end zone. He's coming out to the 5 and 15. He's got the ball. But he's pulled out. And quickly by Lem Barney. He's been a valuable guy for Detroit for so many years. Lem's last season was 1977, and one of the columnists uh, here in Detroit asked him if he could come over and talk to him about being out of football. <laughs> what was Lem Barney doing? He was watching the Detroit Lions, and he was reacting to every play. He was still a Detroit Lion, and he remained one throughout his life after football. Participated in numerous functions involved with the Detroit Lions and fans. This is Lem Barney. Hello. 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 I'm doing good. Uh, sixth grade. Make sure you get those books. All right. You could always count on Lem. Just a wonderful, warm guy in every possible way. Comes time to honor your Detroit Lions NFL 100 all-time team. The original number 20 Pro Football Hall of Famer, Lem Barney. You know, from start to finish, you know, there was there was something special and something different about Lem Barney and. Uh, we were blessed to have him here in Detroit for, from 1967 on. I gave the game everything I had, anything that I could do to help win, I was willing to do. And uh, the skills that the Lord had blessed me with, I didn't leave the game by saying I did not use them. Everything I had, I gave while I was on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, no one I've ever coached is more deserving of this high honor than this man. Players of his kind come around once in a lifetime. Lem Barney. Today, you share this moment with me. To my teammates, thank you for your encouragement, for your support, for your motivation. 
Football for me for 20 years was a way of life. I enjoyed it, and every opportunity I had, I tried to promote victories and wins. I thank you very much. God bless you, and I love you.